New video shows tense moments at a Puyallup man's home as intruders are shot and killed, trying to steal pot and money. While it was self-defense, a judge sentenced the homeowner to seven years in prison for drug and gun charges. He tells King Fives to hit Arv exclusively. He'll serve a sentence with his head held high. Posing for pictures and all smiles, it's hard to tell Jeremy Capadano was just sentenced to seven years in prison. Yeah, it's a long time. Hey, what about being dead? But it's a small price to pay when what happened two years ago could have cost the lives of him and his nine year old son. You give your life up to give your kid a chance, right? That's what I did. It was December 2012 when Capodano called 911 to report a break in. Intruders were in his garage where his sophisticated medical marijuana grow operation is. They had uh, masks on, they both had guns. Fearing for his safety, Capodano starts shooting multiple shots. Very much like he's on a shooting range. When police get there, they find two bodies in the garage, both Marines who investigators believe targeted Capodano. So they had pictures of my family, they had an aerial view of my house. But that's not the reason he's facing federal charges. Whenever you throw drugs and guns together, it's a much more volatile mix. Prosecutors say even though Capodano's grow operation was bigger than what's allowed, the fact that he used a gun is why he's being charged with unlawful manufacture of pot and using a firearm in a gun crime. And that's why Congress made it illegal not just to deal drugs, but to be an armed drug dealer. While Capodano expresses I mean, I sorrow. I mean, I, I feel bad for the families, yes, absolutely. Uh, and all I can say is, uh, my, you know, God rest their souls and my remorse goes out to them. He says, don't mistake that for regret. They were going to shoot me too. I just, I got them before they got me. Zahid Oreb, King 5 News. Capodano is also forfeiting nearly $670,000 from the sale of his two properties in Puyallup and Kent. He'll voluntarily report to prison to start his sentence soon.